How's it going YouTube? In this video we have Yellow Agubon, a deck that is really cool and gaining some popularity, going up against what I assume is a Skull Knight slash Commander Mon deck. Another deck that is pretty cool, so I figured this would be a good match to showcase some uh, underplayed decks. Uh, now for Skull Knight, I haven't seen much of it in BT7, but I think in BT8 it actually gets pretty decent because the... Uh, so when the Skull dies, it's almost the other two pieces and they're suspended, which is usually kind of bad. But with Chimera Mon, you can actually turn those into, you know, a new level 5 that can attack right away. So there's some pretty cool synergy there. Uh, let me know if you guys are excited for Skull Knight in BT8. Anyway, we're off to a pretty good start. You know, Rookie, Tamer, and a Chumon on board. Not bad. Uh, as for the yellow Agubon, you know, I, um, I've lost to it before, definitely. You know, it works in theory for sure. I don't know, like, how consistent it is overall, but the idea is that... The yellow hybrid package is really good at, you know, clearing the board and recovering. Well, I guess like recovering, we'll say, right? And then the red gives you access to some good board clear. Like, as you see, Atomic Blaster, right? Great, fantastic card, taking out two bodies for the price of one. We're going to see a Grumble hard play, which is less than ideal. This one's going to digital over a TK, though, which, uh, when that happens, I think, you know, you're mostly okay with that. You can see how his hand may be a little bricky, perhaps. But uh, we'll see. I think they only run that one... Agu, that's gonna give you the, you know, full bond of bravery technology. Uh, the idea is pretty good, like, you grind the game out, you chip with hybrids, and then the bond of bravery is, like, the pretty solid finisher, right? Yep, gonna take the Agumon, so because it's a red card, he's not going to recover for that. Uh, TK can hurt you in decks like these, but, like, your yellow base, you still want your TK, and the TK is still super good. Hey, you get a 14k in your security. Okay, so right now it's just it's looking like Commandramon beatdown is what it's actually looking like. Gets him down to zero security, which is honestly pretty good. If he had an R Grumble, that would just be game. Now, Yellow can do a good job of recovering, you know. All it takes is a Jet Sylphie or two. Uh, but he's going to just hard play a Commandramon. You know, we saw him take the Agu, so he definitely has a Rookie. And he's got memory to work with for the uh, Reinforce, which he's thinking about popping right away. <coughs> Okay, so it goes to 6. Okay, Blaster clears. You know, you can assume that there was no hybrid, since if there was, he would have died to it last turn, so I think it's fine. Uh, you know, if he has a Jet Sylphie, you definitely go into Jet Sylphie. Go into Tactical Retreat. I mean, that's one way to get some life back. And there's some synergy there, because you can then pick it up with Soe or even the TK. I think, like, you know, he did a good job of staying alive, but... We're looking for the uh, the Jet Sylphies. And there you see the Skull Knight package of the deck. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm actually not too familiar with the Skull Knight deck. I don't, I've only played against it once, I think. At least in like real life. But like I said, there's one of my friends was showing me some tech for BT8. So maybe we'll be familiar with those cards soon enough. Uh, gonna go with the Dark Drum on to pass turn. That's interesting. Maybe he just wants to like put the... Rookie is the top of the deck, uh, but actually I'm pretty sure this play is illegal because the Darktramon costs more than 10 and he gains the memory back. So you actually, you are not allowed to play Darktramon when you're at zero memory. So a bit of a misplay there, but hey, I mean, you know, sometimes these cards are unfamiliar and you just don't know. But uh, yeah, you actually can't do that. But now he'll have guaranteed rookies for the next couple turns. They didn't get to use Bally out of the rush though. Okay, he's chipping, uh, really, you know, lacking the Jet Sylphie, I think it's hurting the Agubon player kind of badly. Also, did he promote and forget to use the mat effect? Or the tie, I mean, right? Because when you promote, you gain two memory, draw two cards. But he was at three, right? Because of the TK anyway. So I guess he also forgot about that. Maybe he would have drawn into a Jet Sylphie and then that would have completely changed everything. Also, he tactical retreats. Yeah, but he can't. He doesn't have a yellow card on the board. So, you know, just, you gotta always be careful, chat. There's a lot of stuff that, uh, like, Digimon is a pretty simple game for the most part. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta be careful. Okay, so he's gonna Gaia Force the Darktramon. But now we know that the black player has a bunch of just rookies, right? Like, he's gonna be drawing a bunch of Commandamons he put on top of his deck. So, maybe he could try to just flood the board. Although, I guess, like, he doesn't actually have the card draw to get there, right? This is an interesting game, and I think this game shows why, like, the 
these yellow plus whatever color decks, like, you need Jet Sylphie, right? Like, let's be real, Jet Sylphie's broken. And, like, <laughs> she's kind of like the glue that holds those decks together. We know he doesn't have a Grumble, right? So, I don't know what else he's gonna do. But it's definitely still tough for the Agu player. And, like, there's gonna be an army of Commandermons. Okay, he's gonna just punch the Agumon. I respect that. It's honestly a good way to pass the turn. And now, does he finally have a Jet Sylphie? But it might be too little too late. Okay, there's the Jet Sylphie, finally. Maybe his security is good now, he's forced to clear. There's still the Knight and then the Commanderman in the back. We know there won't be a Grumble for a while though. Okay, retreat for extra extra recovery. I wonder if he's gonna like Soe and... Okay, hard play Kasimon, interesting. So with this line of play, he has the, you know, two security, which should protect him. Uh, okay, so he gets both of them suspended, right? Don't you get security attack plus one when one of the, the dude, <coughs> when your Skull Knight dies? Or the, so when he dies, you summon a two, and then one of them gets some security attack plus one. Although, I don't know, that might be the BT8 card, because, again, keep in mind, I'm not the most familiar with the... Okay, so it goes into the Agabond, which trashes top, checks two, and then, yeah, it checks for two, because of the Agabond inheritable. Agumon gets punched and then Kasumon swings for game. Oh, that, was, that was a crazy game. That was, uh, that was a crazy game. There were definitely some misplays on both sides. But, you know, it's cool to see the different decks we played. I'm actually thinking about the idea of doing a yellow Gabu deck. If not for any reason, then, like, we were extended BT7 format and I want something new to play, basically. And I love Gabumon, as you guys may or may not know. But yeah, that was an interesting game to say the least. You could see in that game how the red gives you good options that can help clear the board. And while he didn't really get to really abuse the Jet Sophie to its fullest extent, you know, yellow gives you good recovery. And you know, he was constantly able to search his security for the things he needed, even if like that was an Agumon that he needed. Okay, so now we're going into game two here. We're gonna see who's going first. We uh, mostly saw from the black player like the commander mode package, I think. Uh, you wanna see more of the Skull Knight. But like I said, maybe Skull Knight won't shine until BT8. Oh uh, yeah, he got a hatch first. Primary Roost is fantastic though. Like, this is the main card why they run commander mode engine, I think. Because you get to potentially get the Knight or one of the commander modes, right? And the knight's pretty good, reveal 5, you add 2, like, it's actually a pretty good searcher as far as they go. We're gonna see a TK being played here. Uh, last time he had to digivolve over the TK early on, and once again, this is the second time we see this, he takes the Agu. Doesn't get the heal, but, you know, getting that rookie could be worth a lot, especially if he has the tie to back it up. Okay, it's gonna be taking Kari. I mean, I also like this because he already took oneself damage. So he's gonna guarantee that Tiki and Kari's live, so he's going to be at 5 memory next turn to work with. That said, you know, that extra hit he took could hurt him. We're gonna see the Issy. I'm not a huge fan of Issy. I always like the BT2 tie. But I guess in some decks, like, you just don't care about the DP, right? And sometimes Issy can be good. Okay, gonna just play a couple bodies out. Like I said, it is gonna be five memory no matter what. And by playing Tiki and Kari, you know, he has a hybrid. He could digibulb over the tamer and then still maintain his, uh, his TK. Gonna be another Tiki and Kari and then Atomic Blaster. Not bad. You know, he had the Issy, so he knew the commander one was guaranteed. And then he can keep up the pressure. And he's gonna pass over a bunch of memory. The, like, like the red, red options are pretty strong, man. Tommy Blaster is such a good card, and we saw he even still ran the Guy Force. So he can answer, you know, potentially like tall stacks or white boards. Okay, gonna swing with the skull, hits into a Susano. I was not expecting that. So I guess to play, you know, the one suspended. I'm pretty sure you get both, don't you? Pretty sure you're supposed to get both. Okay, so it passes over 50,000 memory. And that's uh, less than ideal, to say the least. 
<laughs> okay, let's see some high plays from the Agu. Okay, Sefer, maybe Jet Silphy. He doesn't actually have the tie, he can't warp into the Bond of Friendship just yet. But one play you could do that's cool with this type of deck, so you can warp into it, go to zero security, so that it's not gonna die at the end of turn, and then go into a Jet Silphy or do other yellow shenanigans and heal after. That way you'll still maintain your bond, even if the turn passes. And these days, in this format, a level 7 is actually super tough to deal with. Like sure, you know, Blood Hybrid can freeze it for sure, but a lot of our decks can't really do anything against it. People not really running like those Guy Force, Trump Swords, those type of things. And even a lot of the removal like just doesn't hit level 7s, like for example the Chaos Lucimon or the Fly Bullet just can't answer level 7s. Okay, it's gonna be swinging over, you know, doesn't want to die. Can tap the Tiki and Kari to kill the Commander one, which is a pretty good play, I definitely like that. There's the tie. So now he can warp, it's gonna cost him both the security. Uh, the baby gives you one memory when attacking, which is pretty good, really good synergy for the, the red deck here. And he can also clear, trash, get double check. So you can see why the Bundle of Bravery is like, it's really good at pushing damage, right? I will say though, like, I hope he did this play having a way to heal, because otherwise you just ask him to lose the Grumble. Uh, Dark Dramon has Rush, that will also do it. Yeah, I, I like the Gabu Bond play, but only if you can heal there. Only if you can heal. But, you know, the, uh, the Black Tech has access to a couple ways to get Rush. And Dark Dramon, pretty good card. And Grumble is a hybrid like every every other color gets, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now we're going into game three. Uh, some back and forth there. I think, you know, the uh, the Commander World player did a good job of just going aggressive. And he did run into, you know, some tough checks and security. The Blast did a Tiki and Kari. Uh, but, you know, he had just enough damage. And, you know, having the, uh, like I said, the extra attacks at the end. Pretty good. I will say the guy playing the Agubond, he's got the best leaves, man. This is the same guy that was playing Machine Dramon. If you guys saw my gacha green against Machine Dramon, where his leaves are insane. And the sleeves he's using here is also pretty good. It kind of makes me want to, you know, get some custom sleeves, but... I recently switched over to Dragon Shield, and I'm actually pretty happy with them. Okay, so going into game three here, again a spicy one. Uh, we saw he does play Sakuya Mon, which is pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to the Sakuya in the EX Collection 2, that's gonna be hype. The regular Sakuya is still a pretty good card though. Mostly used to counter like the Bonds and the Jessmon back in the day. I wonder how much he gets out of it in this meta. Like it doesn't do anything against like Blue Hybrid for example, right? Okay, gonna start off with the good Commander one, it's gonna summon more on Deletion. And then get the Knight. Again, reveal 5, add 2 is pretty good. Although, I guess there's just not that many cards they can actually add right now. There'll be more when, you know, they get more support in BT8. Gonna go into the TK. I wonder if he plays four TKs. He's, like, been pretty consistent at opening the TK. Gets the Jet Stuffy, which, again, is, like, super key in a deck like this, right? So, a pretty good start. Zoe as well. There's no other, uh, no hybrid in there. But still, you know, just getting the Zoe established is good. Like, already having the Jet Sophie. Okay, we're probably gonna be swinging, right? Some good stuff in security, though. Well, <laughs> Blaster first check, GG. It's technically not the worst, as he at least gets another Commander Mon for his troubles. Still feels bad, though. And gonna go back to just going wide. This board does just get cleaned up by another Blaster, though. If he has one, I feel like you just play it, man. Right, clear three Digimon for the price of... Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. Okay, well, at least he did get the Jet Sophie for that extra heal. And Tiki and Kari is pretty good. Such a strong tamer. We're seeing no hatch from the black player, which I think is just a mistake. Although, I guess it doesn't matter, because the Izzy can't actually add. He can only reveal. So he knows he's going to have a rookie for next turn, I suppose. You just, yeah, keep swinging. Just get your damage while you can. It's into another TK. I wonder if there's any yellow cards in there. Well, he takes an Agumon anyway, so... We've seen the Agumon player do this a lot. Maybe he only had red cards left. That's actually possible. Has to just pass, so maybe just not the greatest hand, right? 
Might have like Dark Dramons in there, something really awkward. So the Kasamon. He could swing at security and then clear the Chumon with the Kankari, technically. Uh, but maybe he doesn't want to take any risk into security, just taking the safe trades. He's got the Agro in the back, gonna set up another tie. And then another TK and Kari. Okay, we're at the point where like... Dark Dramon and Grumble are scary, right? But you can't really do both in the same turn. And... If you could like set up a rookie in the back, and then you just set up a, you know... Okay, so we're gonna do a Dark Dramon, but... I think he only has three instead of five. So that's another improper use of Dark Dramon. Because you only reduce the memory, you know, based on the number you put back. So if he doesn't put the full five, he doesn't get ten memory back. That means that that should have passed turn, and the yellow should be at four, basically. Uh, but I guess he could use Dark Dramon. Let's assume that, you know, he had the five. Dark Dramon could be used to clear? Or I wonder if he just, like, push. But, like, we can now make an assumption he doesn't have Grumble, right? And you just put a bunch of commanders at the top of your deck. So you're not gonna get Grumble soon either. So actually puts him in a super awkward situation. And he has to just pass. Passing over 50,000 memory. Can go into the Bond of Bravery, which can now... Oh yeah, okay, so he only had red cards left in security. That's actually super funny. Uh, makes the Agu pick the correct for sure. So he can destroy, trash up security, and then check for two. Yeah, another Issy. Second check. And at this point, like, he might just have enough hybrids to go for game, right? That's why it's like, it's so good, because you get a bunch of memory. And then after the algo trashes a bunch of, you know, security, you can just go hybrid, hybrid, hybrid for game. Uh, if he doesn't have enough hybrids to go for game, which he definitely has the memory to, the algo gets punched, then I suspect he would just try and heal, either with retreat or jet Sylphie. But he just has to go hybrid, hybrid, and then that's GG. That's a swing, last security, Skull Knight, and does he have another hybrid? Or does he have to heal some way? Yep, gotta go for the heal, the retreat. Maybe now he can uh, sew it, yep, get the, yeah, it's, it's a good combo, you know, it's, it's a pretty solid combo. And I guess he'll be set up for game next turn, and at one life, he shouldn't really have to fear anything. Uh, that was an interesting game. You know, I, I like these, like, cool decks that are showing up. The yellow-red Gabobon is interesting. How do you guys feel about it? It's a, it's a cool deck. Okay, well now we know the Commander Mon player, he doesn't really have anything. So he's forced to hard play the blocker. Which would at least keep him alive. But, I mean, he's gonna have to... Well, he has a Jet Sylphie, that's pretty good. And then he can swing, force the block. So now there won't be another hybrid for game because he doesn't have the memory. But, I mean, it, it doesn't matter because now he's up to two security and there's really just nothing, right? We see the Agu come out. Finally gets the rookie. Took way too long. He was actually close to being able to finish the game. Has the flare to fully clear the board. So in this case, Toby goes back to being a tamer. And then that's gonna be hybrid for game. That was an interesting game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.